Prince Harry's book will shake the monarchy to its core, a friend of the royal has claimed. The Duke of Sussex's friend predicts Camilla will come in for particular criticism in the memoir. The pal, who has not been named, told the Mirror. Although tensions have eased between the two of them over the years, it was more for a show of unity than a close relationship. There were big problems at the start but as Harry and his brother William aged and matured, things got better and they can now coexist as adults. They were never close with her and they still aren't. Harry's book is due to be published in the run-up to Christmas. The prince's pal added, just wait for the book to come out because that will shake the monarchy to the core. It comes as Camilla was endorsed by the Queen as a future Queen consort. The Duchess of Cornwall said she felt very honoured and very touched by the change in status in a visit to West London on Thursday. Prince William, 39, is said to be supportive of the proposed change. As a teenager, Harry was introduced to Camilla not long before the first anniversary of his mother's death. Their meeting was said to be awkward and tense. Diana died in a car crash in Paris in 1997 at the age of 36. However, he and his brother developed a warmer relationship with Camilla. Harry said in an interview marking his 21st birthday in 2005 that he and William loved her to bits. He also publicly thanked her for making their father very, very happy. Since moving to the US, the Duke has been keen to make sure his mother's memory and legacy are kept alive. The Duke, 37, said on Thursday he felt compelled to try and finish the work of his late mother in tackling HIV and the stigma around it. Diana, Princess of Wales, changed views on HIV and AIDS in the 1980s through her contact with AIDS patients. When Harry took an HIV test in public alongside Rihanna in 2016, the broadcast contributed to a 500% boost to the number of people requesting a test on the Terence Higgins Trust website. Former rugby star Gareth Thomas paid tribute to the Duke this week for wanting to be a voice for everybody around the world. He hailed his commitment to tackling injustice over HIV. Mr Thomas, who captained Wales, joined Harry in a 30-minute video chat to mark National HIV Testing Week with the Prince urging Britons to get tested. The pair discussed how normalising HIV testing could help achieve the goal of ending new HIV cases in the UK by 2030. Mr Thomas, a friend of the Duke's, told the PA News Agency afterwards that Harry was in a great place, with a sense of stability and of strength in who he is. Harry's book is expected to be published by Random House. He is working with Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist J.R. Moringa on the memoir which is expected to explore his childhood, military career and marriage to Meghan. On his motivation in penning the book, he said, I'm writing this not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. I've worn many hats over the years, both literally and figuratively, and my hope is that in telling my story, the highs and lows, the mistakes, the lessons learned, I can help show that no matter where we come from, we have more in common than we think. I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful.